Hello, my name is Ismir Tufek. I'm a programming point of contact at AGI Tech Support. So if you have any questions about customizing AGI products and interfacing with them, I'm your person or man, if you will. And again, excuse my appearance. This is what happens when you let your 15 year old cut your hair. So purpose of this tech tip is to show you how to download license and build your first components application. So I'm here on AGI's brand new website and to download components, you would go to our support section, go to downloads and this is our downloads page. By default, you will get downloads for SDK, which is our main product. And this is the downloads area for, for components on the SDK components tab. So as you can see, we have .NET and Java version. I'm gonna download .NET version. And please, please, please take a note of the note that we have on the page is when you download stuff off the web, especially lately, Windows 10 will flag it as unsafe and block you from using it. So I have already downloaded this. So you don't have to watch my screen sit there for five minutes and I have a license in the same folder. So just to take a note of the note that we have is if I right click on the zip that I downloaded from our web page and go to its properties, you will see that Windows thinks this is a bad file and it will block it. So if you try to unzip this and use it, it will prevent you from doing it. So what we need you to do is to click on the unblock and say, okay, uh, so be able to use this. So now that it is safe to use, I will unzip it. Shouldn't take too much time. Almost there, blah, blah, blah. And now we have, and another thing I'm going to do, I'll just copy the license because we're going to move it into the right location. So if you look at the, the files that you just downloaded, we have Wonderful examples, we have documentation that's also available online. And then we have the assemblies directory where all the uh, DLLs that you need will be located. And we are going to add our license in there, small file. And now we're gonna go to Visual Studio and we're going to create the first project. So I'm gonna create a project. This is demonstration, so I'm gonna just create a console app I or try to organize my code. As you can see, I work on components, engine, everything. So I'm gonna create a folder called it for video and have Visual Studio do its magic. So again, this is just a simple console application. The point is not to show you the functionality, just kind of to see you the steps uh, necessary to be able to build this type, uh, type of application. And if management sees this, I can use better laptop. So this is basically what a Visual Studio gives you by default. I only have a couple of minutes, so I cheated. I wrote the, all the code ahead of time and I'll paste it. And as you can see, it doesn't know what to do with it. So we need to add the references to uh, components DLLs. And again, let's pretend I didn't do this before. So we would go to the folder that I just created uh, that has the components uh, assemblies. And I will click up only the ones that are core or part of the, the core of uh, components. And that's core models and platforms. So once I do that, all the errors go away. Uh, the last thing I need to do is also add a file that allows us to use license. I will add existing item and we would go to the same folder where the DLLs are. So we uh, put it in a convenient place for you. And this is using Microsoft licensing to, to recognize our license. So the way we license our files is through this Microsoft scheme. So now we have all the DLLs that we need 
in the file, the licensing is set up, and what can go wrong? Let's try running this application. Of course, when we're on camera, nothing ever goes wrong. So hopefully I will get the console that shows me that yes, this run and I'm getting some kind of output and yes. So thank you very much for watching, have fun. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm available at support.agi.com. Have fun and talk to you later.